it's a good morning how is everybody doing if you're finding me for the first time my name is penny i come here five to six days a week and my goal here is to inspire you to encourage you and i hope um you can listen and learn by the time you're done listening to me and you will have learned something that can help you in your life so if you've not liked my page please do that um, I'm going to that's what I'm doing right now and invite your friends and you know the beauty about social media for some of us it has given us opportunities um, to do things that we could have otherwise not done in the past, meaning bringing our personal stories to you guys on your phone. We are not a news media. We are not um, on um, national TV. We just come here and talk to people, encourage, encourage people regular people right and that's the beauty of it there's an advantage and then there's a disadvantage because some of the people don't use these um, social media platforms well so share this video be nice to me be kind to me because you know what as a mom and as an elder I have learned that we um, we can't know it all we learn from each other and if we are learning from each other uh, what we can do is sharing. Sharing is caring. And um, that is how we are going to grow. We are going to grow by sharing what we've learned uh, and letting people know some of the mistakes we've uh, made in the past. So uh, go ahead and share this video. And if you've not uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that because um, we want to reach the people who are out of our network who uh, are not on facebook not everybody is on facebook so okay so we are doing this book and today i'm talking from my personal page because i've been using the the other business page but i i, I realized that there are people who don't even know have another page so today i decided to come on this page i have two two uh, profiles on facebook i have a personal page this is a personal page and i have the professional page for my business so anyway Good to see you guys and and what we are going to do here in the next less than 15 minutes today i want to keep it to 15 minutes is ask these questions i always recommend to all my students to get a pen and a paper or oh, you see i lost the pen already get get a pencil a pencil is good because you can write in and erase and then you can go back and answer some of these questions some of these questions are personal so you might not want to write everything here if you want to be an active listener just write it but if not, these are questions that you should ask yourself where you are by yourself. Okay, let's go. Uh, question number one for today. What are you looking for in life? What, do you really, what are you looking for? Ask yourself. What are you looking for? Number two. What scares you the most? As always, I give an example. For me, what scares me the most is not being able to provide for myself or provide for my family or my children now that I have children. Number three, what are some of the things you can live without? What are some of the things you can live without? For me, if they woke up one morning and took all the alcohol away from this planet Earth, I'll be fine. I can live without alcohol. Is there one thing you can live without? What is that one thing? Some of you have decided you can live without a husband. Some of you have decided you can live without a wife. Some of us, we still want our men. We just, we don't want to live without men. Some of us don't want to live without women. But what is that one thing or one person, whatever you can do without, okay? Number four, how do you feel when you depend on someone totally defeated? Because you know what? When you depend on someone, especially when we were children, you used to make a list. My dad used to have us make a list of what you want. And then when you give it to him, he'll cancel a lot of things. In fact, if you had a list of 10 things, by the time you were done with my dad, you, you had only five things. So how do you feel when you're depending on someone? And, and it, it is very common for us women 
to depend on men, especially after we become mothers. I've been there. I've been a dependent where I was counting on my husband 100% to give us, you know, whatever food, shelter. Because you know what? I was staying home with the children. How do you feel? How does that make you feel? Because we're in a generation where women are going out there to work. But sometimes, once you have the children, you're, you know, like for us who are breastfeeding, you go to work and the milk is killing you the whole day. So you become a dependent. How do you feel when you become a dependent? They want you to think about that. And sometimes if you're not feeling okay when you're dependent, you have to ask for things and you're given a no. Talk to your person that is um, you're depending on. Let them know how you feel about being a dependent. Number five, who's on your speed dial? Who's that one person that you know, they are, you, you, when, when you talk about speed dial, something is going down, okay? Who is that person on speed dial? For me, it's my husband. But if my husband is the reason that I'm on speed dial, <laughs> I have a friend. I can't mention the friend because now, hey, he might know. Who is that person you call? Your speed dial person. It could be your spouse. It could be your mom. It could be a friend. Somebody you have on speed dial. Someone that you always call when things are like going however they are going. You just pick the phone and call them. You need that one person if you don't have one. Number six. What is the word that you would describe your current environment? What is the one word that you would use to describe your 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 current environment. My current environment here, I'm at work. Everybody's working. 80%, I should say, employees where I work are very unhappy. So I'm I'm in the midst of 80% people who are very angry. As soon as we sign in, my work environment has been very bad. Maybe the past two years, people don't like the working conditions. Uh, they pay. We've not had a raise for uh, you know a while. So how is your current environment? Some of you are on vacation, so you're lucky. Some of you are visiting. Uh, your your home maybe you're you're from another country you are in your home village like i really did i wish i can go to nyando chevere this week i've been thinking about my village i told my husband i wish i can go to my village and stay there for a whole month so some of you are in an environment that is feeling great my environment right now 80 percent negativity there is nobody who's smiling people are upset like it is hard okay they're trying to have you create awareness okay Number seven, what is rare for you? What is rare? What is that one thing? It's, it's, it's a rare thing. For me, again, I've been, a, I've drunk before and I've been drunk before. It's very rare now to even find me drunk. Rare, like that, that rare thing. Some of you don't lie. Some of you are nice people. Some of you, uh, it's rare that you put negative uh, posts on Facebook. Some of you, it's rare that, you know, you even call your, your, your parents. There are things you, some of you don't do. It's rare that you spend time with your wife. When was, if you're married, when was the last time you took your wife on a date and you just went the two of you and had lunch? Some of you, uh, it's rare for you to even tell your spouse, I love you, you know? Just to even tell that person that is the mother to your children or the father to your children, I love you. It is rare for you to show affection. What are those things you rarely do? Think about them, okay? What did Lydia say? I call on God. He's the only friend I can trust. Oh, Lydia, you call on God. But Lydia, you need a human being. God speaks through man. Find one person that God can use to speak. Don't don't always... Uh, yes, depend on God 100%. You know you tell God first. Then you need a human being. I don't know, Lydia, where you are in your life. Some of us, if you're married, if you have children, if you have siblings, you need to have one person, one human being on speed dial. Who's going to listen? This person has to be a listener. They cannot talk back. Sometimes you, you, you just want someone, you just call and tell them the way things went down. And they listen, they don't even say a word. When you finish, you act like, oh, that was a good conversation we had. You know, you put we. You did not do we. You, that was a good conversation you had with a good friend who is willing to listen to you. Listening. So Lydia, find that one person that you can trust that you just call, you are the only one talking. But when you are done, you're going to tell someone, I just had a very good talk with Penny. We had a good discussion. There was no discussion. It is a person that you can rely on, someone that can listen to you. Number nine. Oh, no, no, no. Number eight. What do you really want in your life today? Ask yourself. What is that one thing you want today? 
today as i said i wish i can have enough money to go to my village i just take vacation and go to my village i just want to go to my village and stay there for a week roam around the village greet people just look i just want to go to my original home what is that one thing that you you want today and and, and if you, it is possible are you able to have it you have to have wants and you have to be aware what you want number nine is there someone near by you you would be you you would consider calling noble john good morning is there someone nearby that you would consider calling noble nowadays there are no people you can consider calling noble but they are asking you to think they want you to really trouble your mind leave your your mom your dad your spouse leave everybody that is related to you do you have one person you can consider noble someone of worth somebody of value do you have that one person if they are not there think about creating some you need that you need uh, someone that you can consider noble you need one or two people santana good morning you see now i'm glad i came to my page here because i'm seeing you guys i've not seen for a long time number 10 who is in your clique yesterday we spoke about your board members who is in your <laughs> circle of friends my circle of friends is now so diluted you guys I have a circle since I started doing Facebook. My circle of friends is consistent of everybody. Born again, non born again, uh, people who smoke weed, people who drink. All my friends, I, I have my clique is big. And you know, once I put myself on social media, and when people reach out to me, everybody's in my clique. But some of you, you are still in the church clique. Some of you, you are still in the, the gym clique. Some of you, you are in the work clique. Who is in your clique? Who is the circle of friends that you have? You know, you cannot just live a life, especially those of you who are married. And that's why marriages are breaking. You can't just be circling your, right, your life around your husband, your wife, your children. You are just uh, rotating around people and you are so d demanding. You want them to give you everything. Your husband can't give you everything. Your wife can't give you everything. Your children can't give you everything. Your sisters can't give you everything. They are trying to tell you to create a clique. Those people that you go hike, go do gardening, find your own clique. Do you have your clique? How does it look like? Number 11. Who do you want to hug this very moment? Who do you want to hug this very moment? Think of someone that you'd like to hug this very moment. It could be your child. It could be a friend. It could be someone that you you know really feel like needs a hug and let me tell you yesterday i was speaking to someone that told me his story and his story really oh my goodness the story just dropped my heart and i felt like hugging him because this guy really wanted to have a nice beautiful family and everything fell apart and the whole family fell apart and now he's single and i just oh my goodness i just wanted to hug him because i'm a hugger but then i i thought twice i'm like i don't think you know it's a good idea to hug him because really i don't know him like that but there are people that you really think can use a hug uh claire is saying not easy to find one listener only counselor the one you pay and once the money is done the listener is gone that is true you know now claire by the way right now which i'm, I'm going to talk about on friday we need to use more um therapists out here psychiatrists we need to use more professionals when we want someone to listen because the, the professionals listen with a solution unlike a friend that you listen who listens with judgment uh helen you're my fellow villager you need to call someone, even if they're on the phone, who's going to listen at the end and give you a solution. We fall out of our good relationships because we call the wrong people to listen. And by the time we are done talking to them, they give us the wrong advice. So we need to start tapping into therapy more than ever. I believe in therapy. I believe my children should talk to a therapist. I believe my husband should talk to a therapist, someone who's not biased. Not when we're in conflict, he's calling his sister. Not when we're in conflict, I'm calling my sister. No, we can't do that. You have to try and find a profession who's going to have a solution for you by the time they're done. Number 12, who do you admire the most? Find out that one person. Who do you admire the most? For you guys, let me tell you, for mine, 
the person right now I've been admiring the most is my husband, my God. My husband is a nice guy. Yes, we have problems. But this guy, the reason why I really admire him, he's been putting up with me for 29 years and he's always very nice and calm. I really admire this guy. The, the guy is nice. He's an admirable person. Mm -hmm. I reproduced him four times. I have four children and I'm praying that his children take over him. Because me, I want to send things for my kids to take over me. But he's, I like a lot of his characteristics. I like the way he's calm. I like the way he's patient. Oh, he's an amazing man. You know, so, it might not be your spouse. It might be your, your sister. It might be a cousin. You need to have that one person that you admire. And I thank God that the person that I admire the most is my husband. I'm married to him. Every day he just, he's just a nice person. And he just challenges me to be nice. If you think I'm nice, I'm not nice because I'm nice. I'm nice because I'm with someone who rubs his niceness to me almost every day. We have challenges, but those challenges, they are there because we are human. But he's one person, and my mother will tell you in a heartbeat, a very admirable person. Always very calm. Anyway, enough of the praise of the husband. Number 14, are you in love? Eh, me, I've said I'm in love because now things are good. When things are good, you're in love. When things are not good, you fall out of love. Are you in love? Some of us, love is an action word. Some of us, love is uh, a feeling. Okay. Number 15. Do you look your age? I don't understand what they really want you to learn from that. Because what is looking your age? You could look 12. You could look 13. Do you look your age? They're trying to help you really get yourself to think that you're looking young. Right? Or you're looking, or you think you're looking older. Nobody wants to think they're looking older. Do you look your age? Number 16. Do you act your age? For me, that's a no. For me, I'm far from behaving like a 50-year-old. I'm very childish because I really think I missed being a child. I was busy laboring and working in the farm. I didn't get a, enough time to be a child. So I'm, I'm not even acting my age. Do you act your age? I don't even know what you expected to do at what age because they're trying to t track your milestones. Some of us will never act our ages because we skipped the other ages. Now we are trying to play catching up. Okay, number 17. How do you think you've developed as a human being? I, I think I've developed to be a nicer person for me. Some of you are developing to be bad. For me, given the situations and surrounding circumstances of my environment, I really have come to give people grace. I've come to be less judgmental. I've come to accept people for who they are. So, as a human being, how do you think you're developing? Okay, number 18. Who do you think admires you? <laughs> like if somebody says me, I will just laugh. Who do you think admires you? My children, I think they're the only people who can admire me. And they're not admiring me 100%. My children will admire me partially. It is very rare because I'm very um, straight up to the point. People don't like my demeanor. People don't like my my straightness and all that. So I don't, I don't know if I'm, I'm in anybody's list, but who do you think admires you? Most of the time is our children. Number 19, who would you give an award for two for immeasurable support? Who would you give an award to for immeasurable support? Somebody today, if I told you, I want you to give, go to the mall or go to uh, like a bookshop or go somewhere and buy a gift and create an award. Who in your circle of friends is going to receive or family the immeasurable support? Mine, Mr. Mbane has it. Mr. Mbane has my award every day. The guy is so supportive. Yeah, but I get that personality. People don't like when you tell them the truth. Even, you know what I've learned? Before it is people who didn't like me, friends. But now even my children, they don't like harm straight to the point. They just don't like it. And these are children that I raised. 
when I come straight up to the point and I, I, I foresee their future, they don't like it. When I tell them the way things they are, they don't like it. My one son, Dylan, tells me, Mom, be a little sensitive because, you know, people have feelings. You don't have feelings. But me, I'm thinking, instead of gossiping you, I should just tell you. And I, I still want to live that way. But it's not an admirable uh, tr uh, trait. Who is that one person that you are going to give an award for immeasurable support? I use my husband a lot because he's the number one supporter. He's the person that chose to marry me and have children with me. And he's always my number one supporter. Ndelea kupika Helen. Number 20. Do you wonder what it, it's like to be a teenager nowadays? This one, I really need, for all of you who are watching, I really need a yes or no. Do you wonder what it's like to be a teenager nowadays i just spoke about my village how i i thought i was busy working i didn't have enough time to be a teenager i don't know if you remember yourself as a teenager they are trying to ask you we are talking about people now who are older they are not teenagers watching me i'm assuming everybody who's watching me is 18 plus that's what facebook says do you picture what it's like or do you wonder what it's like to being in by to being a teenager right now have you taken time to put yourself in the situations of the teenagers right now that's the question the teenagers right now are going through a lot but have you taken time to ask yourself or to imagine what it it, it feels like to being a teenager right now and if you have a teenager do you ever sit with your teenagers to even um ask them what they are going through how they are feeling think about that what does it feel right now how are you imagining right now a teenager is feeling with everything that is going on thank you for watching i hope you listened because this was just listening i was just talking and some of you have been talking back through the comments I hope you learned one or two things from these questions that's going to help you to have a good quality of life. If you've not liked my page, do that. If you've not gone to YouTube and subscribed to my YouTube channel, do that because I'm taking this video to YouTube so that way we can learn from each other. Facebook has been so grateful. I mean, so such a blessing. We've been so blessed to have Facebook to have Instagram, to have TikTok. It's allowing us regular people to speak to other regular people. It's not the people who have made it. It's not the journalists who have gone to school. It's not a big media uh, TV that, you know, has done research. It's us regular people who are going through regular challenges, who are going through life, that we want to share the challenges we've gone through in our homes. So you can listen and learn. Because you know what? Somebody who's raising their children now, is going to listen to me. Someone who's getting married now is going to listen to me. Someone who's starting a family is going to listen to me and is going to learn something that they are going to apply compared to when you're watching like CNN. God bless you. Let me do my lunch.